On this episode of The Haul, we've got a 2016 Silverado LT ready for some bolt-on mods, and then we're heading to the track. Hey guys, Adam here with americantrucks.com. And on this episode of The Haul, I'm gonna be installing three small bolt-on mods to hopefully make some power and some sound out of my 2016 5.3 liter Silverado 1500. That will include a cold air intake, a tune, and a catback exhaust. Then we're gonna put it on the dyno and see what kind of power it's making. It's also worth noting this does have a set of 33s on it with all-terrain tires and 93 octane in the tank. When that's done, we'll actually take it down to the track. That's right, guys, we are gonna take this to the drag strip, run it down the quarter mile to see what kind of time it's making not to break any records, but really just to have some fun with the new mods that we're gonna have on it. My buddy Justin's essentially doing the same thing to his 2018 five liter F-150. So if you wanna follow his small build, of course, you can head over to American Trucks Ford and he'll be meeting us at the track to run his as well. You also wanna to subscribe to American Trucks Chevy GMC if you wanna see more Silverado content like this one, along with other product reviews. So without further ado, I'm pretty excited, so let's just do it. All right, so our first mod here, of course, you can see we're installing the SNB cold air intake with the extendable dry filter for our 5.3 Silverado. SNB lets us know that this is going to help us flow more air, 48% in fact, which is a huge jump in airflow. Now, the cool thing about this particular air box is that it's going to have a shield on the top to make sure that all that excess engine heat isn't bogging down that intake but it also underneath of it has an open slot. Now most heat shields are gonna be solid on the bottom. This has a cap that you can either choose to put on or not put on. And in our case, I'm gonna leave that open with no cap to make sure that we're getting the absolute most air that we can. I'm hoping that this is gonna help us bump up the power and we're gonna pair this with a tune. We got the ID Motorsports tuner coming on deck. So with this installed, next we've got our cat back, finish it off with that tune and then we'll be able to move on to our test. All right, guys, with that tip in place, that's wrapping up the install for the Carbon Competitor Series Catback on our 5.3 liter Silverado, one of the highest quality materials in the category. It's one of the loudest options out there. It is a competitor exhaust. It's got a three inch 304 stainless steel tubing from head to toe. It's got a black ceramic coated four inch tip. It's just all around looking amazing on the truck. It fits really great. But I think for now, what we're gonna do is head over to the dyno, tune this thing and see what kind of power it's making on the rollers. So let's get to it. Well guys, as you know, before we installed all of our mods on our 16 Silverado, we ran a baseline number with 93 octane in the tank, walked away with about 273 horsepower, about 304 foot pounds of torque at the rear wheels, bone stock, which is 93 octane. Of course, we then installed the cold air intake, our tune and our cat back. We made about 298 horsepower and about 324 foot pounds of torque at the rear wheels. That's peak gains good for about 25 horsepower, 21 foot pounds of torque, but it gets even more impressive under our curve. The curve comes in right around 3,500 RPMs. Right there, we gained about 24 horsepower and 35 foot-pounds of torque. Those low-end gains are great for acceleration, hopefully increasing our quarter-mile time at least a little bit. Every tenth of a second is going to count. I'm really excited to see how this thing is going to perform at the track. So at this point, we're going to head over there. I just want to see what it's going to do. Here we are at the beautiful Maple Grove Raceway with our 2018 F-150 and our 2016 5.3 Silverado. We just got done throwing on those mods. As you saw, we got them hot off the dyno, making 25 horsepower, 20 foot-pounds of torque over the stock numbers in our 5.3. Somewhere in 36 foot-pounds of torque under the curve, so decent power gains over stock, I think, running pretty healthy. And I'm excited to see what it's gonna do down the quarter mile strip. Now guys, we're just here to have fun, not trying to break any records. Keep in mind, this does have a set of 33 all-terrains on it and a six inch lift. Definitely not doing us any favors here at the track, but we are here to have some fun and I'm excited to see what this thing does. My buddy Justin did essentially the same thing to his 5.0 F-150. Yeah, man, JLT, Cold Air, Roush, Catback, uh, ID Motorsports tune from our buddy Matt Alderman down there in Florida. And uh, yeah, 2018's a really impressive truck, just stock, but with those mods, 
It's making some good bit more power than it did before. So we're happy to be here today. Guys, if you wanna see what Justin's been working on on his 5.0, everything he just listed, head over to the American Trucks Ford channel to check that out. My 2016 has been known to do high 14s with stock wheels and a stock lift. We are just here to have some fun. So we are not going head to head. We are gonna use one lane. But with that said, what do you say we get going? Right, guys, getting ready to make our first pass here. Kind of load up. Keep in mind, we're gonna run it in two wheel just to see if it gets traction. And if not, run it up to four wheel high. Here we go. Okay, so Adam's first pass and as expected, traction is an issue in two wheel drive. So chances are we're gonna shift that thing in a four high, stand on the brake a little bit, stall it up and then really send it. So uh, 17 to 85 mile an hour, obviously not great, but what do you expect? First pass of the day. Lost a little traction at the beginning there, but uh, let's see what happened. All right, so we lost traction in the beginning there. I think uh, 17 two was the number. Yeah, 17 to 85. I mean, we were gonna try in two wheel, just see if it hooked at all. Yeah. It's a little cooler out here, 33 inch tires, no weight in the back. And yeah, she wasn't like liking it. Expected. Yeah, so, four wheel high. Four high, stall it up a little bit and just mat it. Let's do it. Yo, four high. Looks like we reached about 85. Woo! That felt good. That felt good. Didn't lose traction. Four high was the way to go. Let's see how we did, huh? 15.6. All right. Listen, I was hoping for low 15s. I know some guys out there with stock wheels and a stock height would run high 14s. I was hoping for like 15.1, 15.2. 15.6, ah. but obviously uh, that's the first run we had that actually hooked, so. Maybe we'll do another pass. Maybe a little bit of a different story that time. We sure. hooked right off 15.6 uh, at 87. Listen, it's not low 15s that I was hoping for, but I'm pretty happy with it, honestly. You should be, man. I mean, you trimmed nearly a full second off your <laughs> six four high. You knocked about a second and a half off your ET and mile an hour is up a little bit, which, yeah. listen, all things considered, that's great because four high will still rob a little bit of power right. over two wheel drive. So it's not ideal, but on a day like today, it's kind of necessary to get this thing yeah. out of the hole. Yeah, she did not want to hook in two wheel, so. So we let it cool down for a little bit. I wanted to make another hero pass, see if I can beat that 15.6 uh, at about 87, I think was the best speed. Hoping that the 60 foot was a little better. Uh, we'll wrap back around and see how she did. 15.6 is my number to beat. 15.9 at 86. So looks like 15.6 is the best that we got. Remember, 33 all terrains and a six inch lift. It's not really doing us any favors when it comes to aerodynamics. You know, at the end of the day, we'll see how this thing did. All right, 15.9. Didn't do as good as our first couple of passes. Uh, we did it in four wheel high again. You hit your goal, man. I mean, you got this <laughs> thing in the 15, six inch lift, 33. It's things to keep in mind, not doing us any favors with that lift, but sure. you know, at the end of the day, I'm having a lot of fun. I can't wait to do it again, but for today, I think I'm gonna pass it off to you. I think you wanna run that F-150. Know it. Uh, I'm excited to see how that thing does. pretty good. Obviously it didn't spin in four high as you'd imagine. It uh, looked like we crossed the traps at right around 100 mile an hour, so that's pretty good. We'll see. Let's see what that time says here. Dude, 13.8 at 99. That's impressive, man. I am very happy with that. 13.8 at 99 mile an hour. JLT Cold Air, Roush Catback, and most importantly, that Matt Alderman ID Motorsports tune. Yeah, man, I mean, I'm stoked. I think uh, high 13s is pretty much where I thought this thing would be and right off the bat. Yeah, so you were right, you were right on the money with what you were hoping for and 
And 2160, it'd be nice to get this thing to like a 2.0 or like even like a 1.9. And I think I could get it down to like a 1350 maybe, but it's gonna be tough. That was first pass off the, uh, off the old highway. And now I need a helmet. <laughs> That's a sign that we're going fast. All right, well, let's see if we can get a little bit more RPM out of the hole, a little bit more up on that converter. Come on, baby! All right, I think we might have squeaked a little bit more mile an hour out of it. As you can see, we got our helmet on now because we went a little faster than 1390. Second pass, we got it up to about maybe 2200 on the converter here. Put it to the wood, four high, sport mode. Uh, we'll see how it did. All right, so we went a little slower that time, 13.9 at 99. I honestly think that 13.8 is going to be the pass of the day out of this thing. Well guys, after throwing some small bolt-ons, as you saw in earlier in the video, on our 5.3 Silverado and the 5.0 F-150 that Justin's got, we wanted to bring it down to the track and have some fun, and I would say that's exactly what we did. It's a beautiful day, ran it a couple times, and I think we're happy with our results, right? I was going for low 15s, mid 15s, ended up right at 15.6 at 87 miles an hour, so I'm pretty happy with that. How about you? Yeah, man, high 13s with these 18 F-150s, the 10-speed auto is just so good in these trucks, and overall, not a bad day at work, right? Not a bad day at all. Well, guys, if you really wanna see Justin's work on the F-150 and everything that they've got going on over there, check out American Trucks Ford, and you know, of course, if you wanna keep on with the bow tie stuff, stay right here at American Trucks Chevy GMC.